Hello everyone and welcome back to Boston Latino TV Sports. I'm Gil Matos. I'm Mari Cabrera. And uh, today we're going to talk about pounds. Pound for pound. Not talking about British pounds, pound cake, or diets. We're talking about the best pound for pound boxers in the world. And Omar, a few boxers that are up here on the list, but definitely one that is uh, consensus number one right now. Definitely the Pac-Man, Manny Pacquiao right now, the best fighter of the moment. You have to give it to him. He's the best fighters in the world lately. So until somebody beats him, nobody can claim that title. Of course, the interesting thing with Manny Pacquiao is uh, the whole Juan Manuel Marquez thing. Of course, those two have fought twice. 24 rounds have gone one point separating the two. Of course, the first fight was a draw. Um, interestingly enough, Pacquiao keeps moving up in weight, six different titles and six different uh, uh, divisions, so he's definitely one of the all-time greats. Interestingly though, Juan Manuel Marquez keeps following him up in weight. And I would love to see fight number three between those two guys. Yeah, like you said, you know, the first fight was a draw, the second one, one point. And I honestly think the Marquez won that fight, so I would definitely love to see. I know some people want to see Pacquiao Mayweather, but I want to see, I definitely would love to see Marcus Pacquiao number three. So, uh, Juan Manuel Marquez is definitely one of the roughest and toughest in the division, and he's going to be uh, put up to a test, as is Floyd Mayweather Jr. coming September 19th, when those two match up as well. Obviously, the winner of that fight is expected to meet up with Pacquiao in a huge mega fight. A lot of people rooting for Mayweather, saying they want to see Mayweather Pacquiao. A lot of boxing fans, or a lot of fans that are just casual boxing fans, don't realize just how tough Marquez is. This is not a walkover for Mayweather. Oh no, definitely. I think Mayweather has to be really careful, especially coming back from retirement. I think this is a really dangerous fight for Mayweather being his first fight coming back. So Mayweather better be careful because we might be seeing Marquez Pacquiao number three instead of Mayweather Pacquiao, even though that's what everybody wants to see. So everybody wants, of course, Mayweather the former pound for pound king before retiring after the De La Hoya fight. Uh, still undefeated, still the pretty boy, still haven't seen him cut up in the ring. Does he have enough left to come back and really make an impact? I think, you know what, I think this is going to be a big test. We shall see, you know, what happens between him and Marcus. And, you know, if, if he beats Mar Marcus convincingly, then I think, you know what, he can claim that title again, or at least have part of that claim to, you know, best pound for pound. So we got to see that. The other guys lurking out there, Omar, of course, the old guys. We got a couple of old guys out there who are still getting it done. Sugar Shane Mosley and Bernard Hopkins, two guys that are still getting it done and have looked really good doing it lately. Oh yeah, definitely. Mostly, you know what? I have to give Mostly a lot of credit. I thought for a while that you know Mostly was ready to retire, but the last few fights, you know, especially against Margarito, I think he proved you know to the world that he's ready to fight like you know the big guys like Pretty Boy, you know, Pacquiao, Mosley, and everybody wants to see that as well. But we have to see for that, wait for that one. And it's interesting you mentioned Mosley, Mosley, who was beat by Miguel Cotto, who then Margarito beat. And in controversy, of course, now a lot of Margarito fans, a lot of Cotto fans, and uh, Cotto himself saying. Perhaps those hands were wrapped a little heavy and uh, there was a little cheating going on there. Um, where do you rank Miguel Cotto amongst the best fighters right now? I would definitely say probably top five in the world right now. Definitely Cotto, you know what? I would love to see the rematch against Margarito again. That way, you know, yeah. no more controversy. Let's see who the best one out of those two guys are. No, no cheating, you know what? Just go at it again. And after that, we should definitely see who's better. That first one was definitely a classic. A hell of a fight. Those two guys just wailed on each other. Miguel Cotto may get his chance, though, in November. A lot of talks about him uh, facing Manny Pacquiao. Yeah, that would be a great fight. Like I said, you know, in that division, so many potential great fights. You know, I wish, like, it would make him happen. You know what? No matter how much money it costs, whatever, just make him happen. And that way we can find out exactly who's the best pound for pound at the moment. Yeah, well, like you mentioned, I definitely want to see Marquez Pacquiao again. I mean, one point separating those two guys. I know the money isn't quite the same for Pacquiao, so I understand the business side of it. You want to fight a guy who's going to bring in more money, you know, maybe not as much risk or whatever, but um, Cotto, definitely a bigger draw than, than Marquez is. Also a little more dangerous fighter though, but I mean, Marquez definitely, you know, style, boxing is about styles, and his style is definitely matched up with, uh, with Pacquiao. Another good fight would be Mosley and Cotto, the rematch again. I remember the first one, you know, Cotto definitely won that fight, but I think Mosley definitely gave him a hard time, so I think a rematch would be great, so there's too many potential good fights in that division right now. But this division is definitely one of the Golden Angels in the World 2 division. I mean, other guys from Paul Williams out there too, the young guy Andre Berto out there as well. Dangerous guys. Yeah, a lot of good fighters in that division as well, so a lot of good fights to see. Um, so anyways, you know, definitely we encourage you guys to uh, participate in this discussion. Who do you think is the best pound for pound fighter in boxing right now? Is it Manny Pacquiao? Is it Juan Manuel Marquez? Is it Miguel Cotto? Is it Sugar? Is it Floyd still? Uh, before we go, I want to ask you, who's going to win the fight, Marquez or Pacquiao? Uh, I'm sorry, Marquez or Mayweather? I, I think the first I go with Mayweather. I think Mayweather still has the skills to get it done. I think it's not going to be as easy as everybody thinks it is. Uh, he does have a little weight advantage as well over Marquez, um, but I think Floyd still has the skills to get it done. Well, you heard it here. I got to go with Marquez. Marquez is going to take it, and then we're going to see Marquez pack at number three. You heard it? Oh,
<laughs> we're ready for Marcus anyway. But thank you very much. And again, we do encourage you guys to participate in this discussion. Who is the best pound for pound fighter in boxing? Please leave us comments here. And also check out our other videos at www.boxinglatinotv.com. For Omar Cabrera, I'm Gil Matos. Ya que estoy firmado, ahora firmo los cheques. No te confundas.